Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Medieval. This is like the third time I've been playing the graveyard because I keep dying in the water, but I accidentally fell on top of one of the coffins and ended up here. Um, I found some kind of strange secret path, so we're going to check it out. <laughs> I thought it was kind of cool and worth showing, so I'll show it. Um, who's a clever skeleton there? Remember that there are many more secret areas like this throughout the land of Galamir. Some offering more than just treasure. Oh, please. I want way more. I want, like, a health file. I want, like, 50 health files because I lose an entire one every time I dive into the ocean of gooply muck in the water. Oh my gosh, I'm so mad at this level. I really, really, really don't like this. This level blows. Oh. Um... However, tip for fighting the other uh, chargey dudes. Actually, it works really, really surprisingly well if you use your crossbow on them. It's really, really weird how it does. It's quite strange. Um, actually, no, it's not, because it's rapid fire. It holds them back quite fast, and I love using it. It's really, really helpful, and I hate those guys. So that might actually help in a later level, which I actually... <laughs> surprisingly, there's a level that I hate more than this. Um, and it's way more difficult than this one, but it will help out in a, uh, a later one. What was that? Was it just, like, sound effect? Oh, no, we have dudes coming from behind. My gosh. Okay. But, um, yeah, this, <laughs> there's another level that, in this game, that I really don't like. I really like this game, but there are, like, just one or two levels that really, really stink. Oh my gosh, this is one of them. Um, just uh, because it's so, so hard. It's not even hard, like, the fighting's easy. It's all easy fighting. Easy enemies, easy fighting stuff. But then you get to the water, and the water just stinks. Which, that's the, that's like the only thing I don't like about this game, the water. And that's it. That's where my complaints really kind of end. Um, I just really don't want to die again and replay this level. Last time I actually managed to get past the water, surprisingly, and made it to the go-go juice fountain, but I, as I was receiving go-go juice from the fountain, I accidentally walked into the cutscene that starts the boss fight and couldn't get any more health, and I was really, really mad, and I died. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So let's start this. Hey there, wolf. Sorry to awake you from your slumber, but you're kind of a rude enemy. Actually, you're quite easy to fight, except for the bosses of this area, which uh, sp I'm going to spoil it now. They're wolves. Um, they're actually wolf, like, they're wolf statues, I think. But there's, they're like weird, invisible, and invincible while invisible wolf statues. They're quite weird, and they're hard to hit. They're quite hard to hit. You'll see when we make it to the fight. If I make it to the fight, because I'm pretty sure I'm never going to finish this level in the history of my life. No, I'm sure I will. Okay, so I'm totally not going over there. I don't want to risk falling in the, the goo. So eat my throwing daggers, you scum. Take that. I don't care if there's a big, like, shiny box of treasure. I do not need it. I have plenty of treasure, and I don't, there's not really much I want to buy right now other than crossbow bolts, but I don't need, I don't really need a lot right now. Um, star rune, give me my health, I think I have full health, so that was pointless, oops, um, and then get bag of cash, proceed down into the dark, scary corridor. Hey there, chalice that I can't get yet, I'm gonna go kill some dudes. Okay, yeah, look at that, that crossbow works really well. And since it's like rapid fire, it holds them back quite easily. And like they only die in a couple of hits, so it's it's quite nice. Okay, just a few more dudes. I can collect you, Chalice. Don't worry, I'm coming for you. I just need a couple more dudes. Just a couple, maybe one more. There we go. The Chalice can now be collected. Awesome. Give me that Chalice. I wonder if there's another side. Have I always gone through the left, or was it the right? I think I've always... No, I don't think I've gone to the left chamber. I don't know. Does it really matter which side you go up? Oh, it looks slightly different. Um, I don't want to risk that, though. That looked kind of scary. Oh, is this what makes it easier to get across the pit? There's a third boulder? Are you kidding me? 
I was able to make it across with two boulders. If you do a running jump on the final one, you can make it. But, um, seriously, this was here all the time. I'm angry. <laughs> I totally didn't know that. That makes me mad. I died, like, a decent number of times for nothing, because it could have been easily avoided just by pushing a freaking rock. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I really hate pushing these. And over here, too, it's really, really, you have to really be careful when pushing them, because it's possible that you can slide off the ledge. I wonder if I could, I don't, I don't want to try it. I don't, do I really want to? Go for it. Oh my gosh, wow, I can't believe I actually pulled that off. Okay, forget the rest of the boulders. Apparently you can skip all that. Prepare the battle of the guardians of the graveyard. Let's try not to die this time. Oh my gosh, I hate this fight so much. This fight really, really, really stinks. Okay, what happens is they'll, they'll like, charge at you and be invisible at the same time. But then, for a brief period of time, they will, like, become ethereal. I think ethereal is the term, or, like, physical. It's either physical or ethereal, and I'm not sure which one it is. But you need to shoot them while they are in their physical form and not in their ghostly, weird, transparent form. And it can be hard, because they come up right behind you most of the time, or from the side, and they get, like, cheap hits in when they ram right into you. Actually, that's probably how the boss was meant to be, like, meant to run. To run straight into you, because that's the only way it does its damage. It either, like, bites at you in the physical form, or it runs straight into you as, like, magic fairy dust in the, the weird spiritual ghosty form. And it can be quite tough, and it's... this fight can be annoying. Sometimes it can be easy, and sometimes it can be hard. It just depends on how you play it. And I'm running out of crossbow bolts, so that's kind of that's kind of bad. The crossbow bolts I find really helpful in this fight, just because you can easily fire at them and get a couple good shots in, and they do a decent amount of damage, surprisingly. Okay, so we've okay. I have four bolts left, left so let's make them count by missing completely. Okay, um, I don't want to use the throwing daggers; they're not my favorite. Let's smash them with a hammer if I can get a hit on them. Actually, the hammer, it has like, I think it has like a hit, like a quite a large hit. There we go, you're dead, goodbye. Evil Guardians of the Graveyard have been vanquished, claim daring dash ability. Get out of here. Gosh, I hate, I hate turn the graveyard. All has changed outside the necropolis. Pearls go this way, pearls go that way. Nasty, painful death waits round every turn and over every hill. Bon voyage. Bon voyage to you too, sir. I'm at this level. Goodbye. Never want to see the graveyard again. Not fun of that place. Not fun one bit. Let's go to the Holly Heroes. Whew. You have anything cool to say? It's the hall oh, it's still the Hall of Heroes shopping mall. I guess his dialogue hasn't changed yet. Um, did we get anything new, perhaps? Is our statue any more solid than last time? I can't really tell. Um, ooh, Hammer Dude, what do you have to say? Bravo, Fortescue! Some of the other chaps wagered Zarok would be using your ribcage as a toast rack by now, but I knew you'd pull through. Here! Yeah. I have a little extra something here I can give you. Could help the old quest. If you want it? Yes, please. <laughs> I'm psychic or something. Oh, I thought it would be like a life thing, but I guess money will do. Money's pretty nice. Awesome. Ooh, did I do the daring dash? What's the daring dash? Oh, okay, so by holding down triangle while running, you do like this super speedy dash of craziness. It's, uh, pretty cool. I guess it helps you get around faster. Quite nice. And I wonder if maybe... I don't know if it stuns enemies or not, but I know if I took a copper shield to a f to the face at that speed, I'd probably be stunned for a bit. <laughs> I'm gonna make this episode short, because I like to just... I, I'm trying to do just, like, one episode. Or one level each episode. Because I know, um... These next few areas... 
are not short. These ex these next few areas are quite large. Um, and this is also where the game splits in directions. Okay, as you can see, by leaving the graveyard, we are allowed to go out into the world. We can either go to... Go up! Gosh! Map? <laughs> nope. No! That's... Okay, the maps I have problems with, too. Okay, we can either go to the Enchanted Earth, or... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Just go to the left, or the right, or whatever it's called. Or we can go to Scarecrow Fields. I will be going to Scarecrow Fields because it leads off in a certain path that you need to take before you can take this one path that Enchanted Earth breaks off into. So, I mean, there's an item we have to get at the end of this path that will help out on the Enchanted Earth path, and then it's all weird and stuff happens. <laughs> we'll find out later. So, uh, thank you all for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.